Top 10 Epic April Fool's Pranks In 1962, Sweden's national TV aired a segment claiming that draping a nylon stocking over the TV screen could convert black and white broadcasts to color, backed by a detailed explanation of the supposed physics involved. This led thousands to try the method. In 1978, Dick Smith claimed he'd towed an iceberg into Sydney Harbor to provide fresh water, dubbing it a practical solution for the city's needs. The spectacle turned out to be a clever April Fool's prank, with the iceberg actually made of foam and shaving cream covering a barge. The stunt attracted wide attention until rain revealed the truth, but it remains a memorable prank for its creativity and the brief excitement it sparked among Sydney's residents. In 1957, the BBC's program Panorama aired a segment for April Fool's Day showing a family in Switzerland harvesting spaghetti from trees. This broadcast became famous because at the time, many in the UK were unfamiliar with spaghetti, leading some viewers to inquire about how to grow their own spaghetti trees. CNN later referred to this prank as the biggest hoax that any reputable news establishment ever pulled. In 1998, Burger King announced a unique left-handed Whopper in a major newspaper, claiming it was designed to be easier for left-handers to hold and eat, with all condiments rotated 180 degrees. The next day, they revealed it was all a joke for April Fool's Day. This clever prank caught the attention of thousands, with many rushing to Burger King to try out the non-existent burger. In 1976, the BBC convinced its listeners that a unique planetary alignment would temporarily decrease Earth's gravity. Patrick Moore, a respected astronomer, claimed on BBC Radio 2 that at 9.47 a.m. on April 1st, the alignment of Jupiter and Pluto would allow people to experience a brief sensation of weightlessness if they jumped into the air at the exact moment. This announcement led to a flood of excited callers, reporting that they indeed felt this decrease in gravity, with one caller even claiming she and her friends floated around the room. On April Fool's Day in 1989, Richard Branson flew a UFO-shaped hot air balloon, landing it in Surrey to fool onlookers and police. A dwarf dressed as E.T. emerged, enhancing the extraterrestrial illusion, leading to widespread amusement and confusion. When the local residents of Sitka, Alaska woke up on April 1, 1974, they found their nearby dormant volcano, Mount Edgecumbie, billowing out black smoke. Later, a Coast Guard pilot went over the crater to investigate. Then, he found 70 tires burning and the words April Fool spray-painted into the snow. On April 1st, 1996, Virgin Cola announced that their cans would turn bright blue when the cola expired, hinting at consumer safety. This prank coincided with Pepsi's introduction of their new bright blue cans, subtly suggesting Pepsi's products were past their sell-by date marking a clever April Fool's Day jest aimed at their rival. On April 1, 2008, the BBC aired a segment claiming that Adelie penguins could fly, complete with footage for its series, Miracles of Evolution. Narrated by Terry Jones, it suggested these penguins flew to South America's rainforests to escape the Antarctic winter. The realistic video became immensely popular online, showcasing the BBC's playful contribution to April Fool's Day traditions. In 2015, Audi Japan unveiled an April Fool's Day prank that featured a special edition A8, dubbed the A8 5.5, which included an onboard rice cooker. This unique feature was a nod to Japan's rice-eating culture, with the car's name 5.5 cleverly referencing gohan, or rice, in Japanese. Audi even presented an Audi-branded wooden rice paddle to highlight the cultural homage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.